What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Thanks for being here. Please don't forget to smash that like button on your uh, on your way in. And if you'd like to see what we have to present to you, then do not forget to smash that like button on your way out. Uh, what's up to everyone? Really appreciate you being here. Um, hello to uh, the members. Uh, my Socrates note. What's going on, man? Great to see you. If you are a member, please make sure you email me so that way we can get you in the, the exclusive AFA members chat where we have uh, video calls. Um, all my, uh, you know, specific members only videos will be dropped there. Uh, today we have some great stuff coming to you. And I don't know if you've seen it yet. Put a one in the chat if you have heard of Gypsy Auditor UK. Put a two in the chat if you have not. We have two videos uh, where he has police encounters and their first reaction to him is to go hands on. And this is the problem. And it's not just a problem in, in America. This is a cop demic, people. That's right. We're going through a cop demic right now where cops, wherever they are, as soon as they put on the uniform, they transition into this total tyrant. And this is a problem that we are facing uh, worldwide. So without further ado, we, I know he was having some connectivity issues. I'm trying to get up here, um, but I'm going to start playing the video, and I think this stuff is really going to blow your mind. By the way, guys, if you want to keep us going, half a bubble off media. What's going on, bro? Great to see you here today. Um, if you want to support us, keep us going. Super chats are super helpful. We really appreciate that. Also, um, paypal.me slash accountability for all. My cash app is dollar sign A-F-A-Y-T. The moderators will be dropping it in the chat. Um, and we really appreciate any help. In about two and a half weeks here, we're going to be getting on the road and we're going to be uh, hitting it hard cross country. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Um, we got two of them that we're going to be showing you today where it's just totally hands on at all times. Again, folks, if you haven't subscribed, uh, top attached to the top of the comment section is the link for Gypsy Auditor UK. You can click there, go over and subscribe. This one's called Inspector Attacks Me Three Times at the Police Headquarters. Let's take a look and we'll walk you through it. Are you a police officer yourself? Okay, can you identify yourself, please? And you're a good move. Are you a police officer? Yes, so it's our property. If you, you leave the property, I'll have remove you. If, if you Simple ask as me that. to leave, I'll leave. Simple but as that. You, you need to leave the property. Me, you need to leave the property. Okay. So our property you is private. Can you identify yourself, please? Right, please I've identified sir. myself as being responsible for this building. Yeah, please stop, sir. Thank yeah. you. All right. No problem. Thank you. Can you identify? Because you touched me. That's a civil claim. He touched, John. Yes, he did. He had yeah. Guys, just up there is the Police Federation of England and Wales. Uh, as we can see on the public footpath, guys, it's very sunny. I want to try and get out of the way so you can see. But all of these uh, houses here are on the Police Federation grounds. So I would say this is all police there, guys. So let's see how they treat a gypsy order art. Approaching here. Now, don't look like there's public access here. But let's get a bit nearer and then we'll see, won't we? Wow, guys, look at this. So let's have a look. I wonder if they've got a yellow phone here. It doesn't actually say private here. So we're actually all right on where we're standing. As we can see, guys. So that's in Walsh. All right, folks. So, so what you're seeing right now is this is the entire police administration uh, for England and Wales. This is the top cop shop that you can get to. Um, now, notice he's just standing in a publicly accessible area. And the United States actually had the very first constitution. And England pretty much mirrors our constitution and their laws pretty much mirror ours. So think of this as a United States audit because for all intents and purposes, he's doing the exact same thing. This is the property of the people. Police Federation. Um, there is actually no barriers here blocking uh, the access. So we can film here. 
and uh, I'm gonna step in a little bit because the gate is open. But it is a beautiful building. I've got a phrase in there, guys. But there will be a lot because I'm actually on edge here because as you can see, guys, um, there is public access here, but the doors are shut. But yeah, so you you have to be a police officer obviously to get in there. But I do have my right of access there under section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, as we all know, guys. And uh, yeah, it's just what it's like to me, yeah. It's just doing a bit of filming. I it's private property. Uh, is there any uh is there public access there? No, no public access at all. There's the gate there. Could you just please Can leave I just straight away? Okay. Obviously you're demanding, I don't know who you are or Okay, well I worked here. Okay. I'm a member of staff, PPW staff, as so I am. I just well, you're not a police officer, members. so... No, I'm not, no. I'm not a police well, officer. I haven't got to listen to members of the public. I listen to a police officer. No, you see, you see, I represent people who, who Well, don't who come too close to me, personally. Because you're, you're coming, coming right near me. I'm coming, I'm not coming near So if, you, if you're going to bark orders, get a police I'm not, officer. I'm not barking orders. Issue, are you telling me to leave or public I access? No, no, excuse me. This is private property. It's fairly clear. What, with an uh, open gate? Yeah. It's got There's a threshold, then. Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972 gives me access to step into this land. Yes, it does. So get a police officer, quite the law then. I haven't got to listen to you. Wait a second, guys. He's holding up a little a little sticker on a lanyard. And he says, well, you should respect my authority because I have a sign. Well, I have one too. And it says AFA equals boss. But because I wrote it down on a piece of paper, that in no way trumps anyone else's rights or gives me any special privileges. This is mind blowing. And we see this everywhere, not just in the UK and the US. Uh, and it's not private property. This is public access. He just went inside of a public building through a public entrance. So you're saying that the entrance to public goes from a public street through a private parking lot where the public can't be into a public building. So the public entrance is through a private entryway. How the hell does that even make sense? Oh, let's keep watching. Uh, we got two videos for you back to back where one cop actually goes, I'll manhandle you. And then he physically attacks him and assaults him. And there's three attacks in this video. It's not even the police officer guys. What's the... I'm here barking orders. You wouldn't believe the police work for the public, guys, would you? This ain't even a police officer, so we'll wait for a proper police officer and then we can talk more. As we can see, guys, look at the access we have here. If that gate's across, it's a different kettle of fish, of course. But Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972 gives me the right to access here. It's a private property, mate. Can you get out? Are you a police officer yeah, yourself? I'm a police officer. Okay, can you identify yourself, please? And you're a bit to identify yourself. It's our property. It's Are our you place. a police officer? Yes, so it's our property. If you, you leave the property, I'll, I'll remove you. If, if Simple you ask as me that. to leave, I'll leave. Simple Wait, as that. You, you need to leave the property. Me, you need to leave the property. Okay. It's our property. You haven't private. Got to me. Can you identify yourself, please? Right, please I've identified sir. myself as being responsible for this building. Yeah, please stop, sir, Thank yeah. you. All right. No problem. Thank you. Can you identify? Because you touched me. That's a civil claim. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Thank you. All right. No problem. Thank you. Can you identify? Because you touched me. That's a civil claim. A touch, yes, he did. He had yeah, his hands on me. I said, can you please leave the premises? Right, can you, can you now me, leave please? the premises? You've been, asked. You've been asked to leave yeah. the premises. Can you identify yourself? Please leave. As a police John officer. Partington, police yeah. inspector, Look how working in this is, building. Guys. This is a civil claim. What, what's your badge number? Can you now leave? What's your badge number? 197075. What's your NPC? Inspector John Partington. Inspector, you, you know better than this as an inspector. You're in our premises. You've been asked to leave several yeah. times. No, I can haven't. please leave? But you put hands on me. Don't put hands on me. I should leave. Do not touch me. Can you please leave? If the you premises? touch me again, I'll defend myself. Leave. Can you leave, leave the, premises? the premises? No problem. That's all you have to ask. Right. Just don't put hands on me. Bye. Listen, you don't talk to me like that. Goodbye. Go I'm not a bit place? of shit, all right? You are getting sued, sir. Thank you. Inspector who? John Partington. You weren't, a, you didn't hurt me, but you shouldn't put contact on me. But you should have just left. Promises. There we go. We're off the land now. What's your okay. problem? Nothing. Okay. Well, Here's the point I want to bring to everybody is, and some people are like, oh, well, this is a UK video and I'm more interested in the US. This is a cop demic, people. Just like the you know what that was getting everybody all sick, it didn't discriminate just against Americans or just against British or this is a cop demic. As soon as they get a stupid little laminated friggin' lanyard, they believe that they own your rights. So I have my AFA as boss sign now. So when I go to police departments, can I just tell people 
that, that I'm in charge and I run shit because I wrote a sign. This is a problem that continues, and it's because we're giving the powerful more power. And in no sense of any belief system does that ever make sense, right? The people that beat us and and withhold our rights and make sure that we suffer and live under a constant state of tyranny, we're thinking to ourselves, you know what? He just beat me. But if I give him more power, maybe he can fix the solution. It's the same belief system where if cops won't do the right thing when given the opportunity to investigate themselves, why would we ever give them more power? It never makes sense. And this is spreading faster than any viral disease because how do you, what's the contagion? Simply a piece of friggin' paper. Let's continue to watch and then we'll watch the other one as well. Make the gate shut then. So the public act, I could still walk on. Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, Inspector, you should know this. Do you not know the laws? And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get a civil claim against these tyrants, disgusting behavior. We're in a fucking, it's an absolute disgrace, guys. Public access, putting hands on me, it's an absolute disgrace. He will be getting sued. I'm going to be taking this down, guys. And for sure, I come here peacefully exercising my right this gate is not even closed guys if this gate is closed it's different it gives me public access here so you want to shut this gate then laughing about it you're going to shut the gate well but you need to shut this gate do you want it you're getting sued already inspector you know better than this an inspector yes you do are you an inspector you're back on that premises yeah don't touch okay. me again. A lot of police officers You're already work getting sued. here. It's a sensitive... Thousands of people are going to see this. It's a sensitive premises. Yes. You've been asked to well, leave why didn't you ask that several politely? times. I didn't but, ask you politely. He asked you politely for... Well, there you go, guys. It's a sensitive premises. Uh, and the premises is not the only thing that's sensitive. The other thing that happens to be sensitive here today is the cops' feelings. And I love how no matter where you go and what language these cops speak, they speak one universal language. It's available through Rosetta Stone. It's cops-splaining. He's trying to explain to a journalist that this is private property when literally to the left of the screen... You can literally see a public directory that shows the underground garage and all the different places that you can go. I mean, look at this. This is the entrance to the public access for the building, but it's now private and it's very sensitive along with this cop's feelings. He's not a police officer. It doesn't matter. That's why I'm responsible for this premises. It's private premises. Not, are you the landowner? It's not a police premises. Are you the landowner? Yes. But you own this whole land. I'm, res I'm responsible for this no, land. but do you own this I'm land? I'm the Deputy National Secretary. I'm responsible yes. for this premises so in the absence of the General Secretary who's outside the Okay, so you have yeah. his authority. Now, let's look at that real quick, guys. The Deputy National Secretary. This is the Police Federation headquarters for all of England and Wales. So this guy is in the very top power structure of, of police administration. So the very top guy that's in charge of thousands and thousands of officers throughout the United Kingdom thinks it's okay to just go physically batter somebody. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's fine. Just go, I'm in charge here, mate. Let me physically batter you. You fucking prick. You yes. are the boss here, yes? yes. Well, you didn't explain this. You didn't get a chance to. Yeah. Because you were putting hands on me three times. I'd explain and everything And this lady was laughing. It's not funny. This is no, no, exercising my rights as a, as a free man to film what anything. What you understand is this is a police building. Yeah. So there's a massive security risk. Yes, you've identified yeah. because we can't... I was engaging. Absolutely. Absolutely. But so he shouldn't put hands see, on me. You, you see him do that. I never saw him do it. He'll be in my right up in the second. And you admitted it yourself, no, officer. I never, I never saw uh, him. He's, he's admitted it. Did I push you? That's fine. But I never saw you. It. You put your hands on me. Unwanted contact. Did I'm a big man. I should react, but I didn't. Did I push but that's you? abusing your powers. That's because not abusing his powers. I can't hit you back because you threw a jump on me. That's that's a disgrace. You're aggressive in your manner. How? You've been asked by a member of staff to leave. But he's got You've no been authority. You have, you have authority. authority. You have authority. I have but as the inspector, well. you're the highest ranking officer here. Yeah? Well, we're all what employees here. We're are all are you here. an inspector? No. Are I'm you just a, a, uh, You have more powers just here. A PC. No, he hasn't it's got more officer. powers. He's just got a different rank. But he's an inspector. And he's what did you say? He was the national what? No. 
We're not using my inspector's powers. I'm not using my inspector's powers here. I'm using my powers to remove you from the land here. Yeah, but you know I have right of access. I know a car wants to. And I will move, no problem. Well, of course I have. Not when you've been asked to leave. If you block that and I walk in, it's different. But it's open. It may be private property, but I can I can justify it all day long. If that's a police officer, we, we, you need to do your test again because. Can you get this part of the lock off, please? Yeah. Okay. You can call the police, but yeah, we will do. Inspector, do you not know about the Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act, 1972? Look, you're please, regarding. I'm not going to go You're through. coming too close. I no, don't need that. You've you already put hands that. on me three times. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you're laughing. It's not a joke, is it? Because when when you're getting sued and it's coming out of your own pocket, it's different, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. It's an absolute disgrace. Why are you putting hands on people? What if I put my hands? I'd like to point out what might be the largest issue here. Not even so much that this cop is going hands on. The largest issue is that Gypsy Auditor UK does a great job explaining to this guy. And here is the man, the myth, the legend himself. Can you hear us, bud? You got your mic off. Can you hear us, Bo? Uh, respect, there? brother. You good? Oh, yeah, we got you. Perfect. So I was just explaining to people the worst Can you part hear me? is here is you did a great job at explaining to this cop that, yeah, you just put your hands on me, I will sue you, but you don't even care because the people will wind up paying the bill, not you. Yep. And the cop says, yeah, well, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Arrogant. <laughs> they, so they were laughing, here, you know. They, they, they were, which funny. is, they think it's funny. Um, everyone here, please uh, subscribe to Gypsy Auditor UK. Really appreciate it. I'm going to continue with the video and let you guys uh, finish watching this, and then we'll go into the next one. Uh, again, that's Gypsy Auditor UK. Guy's awesome. He does a great job. And again, feel free. We appreciate all super chats. Um, and uh, the PayPal link and cash app is pinned to the top. You want to keep us supported, keep us on the road. We appreciate it. Let's continue to watch this awesome video. on you do it, do it. three of you would have wrapped me up wouldn't you no it's a disgrace Not really. she said Let she didn't wrap me up. she PC. said this i'm sorry pc pc good win pc good win see you put hands on me then lied and said she didn't no, and didn't then you admitted it. it i'm not lying I you were stood see she didn't see you were stood right next it. to him i didn't she so was behind what? me, I, I think. Come look on. at the video. You please can see through look, things. Right, look at the video. I will. Okay, if I, saw I don't even want a video you, because I should have to come on here and, and do this for my safety. That could have been, that could have been very dangerous for me then. Okay. It's not okay though. Yeah. It's a nice day, isn't it? It is a nice Lovely. day. Lovely. But why are you putting hands on members of the public? You were on the phone when I walked up. If you identify as a police, I'll move on. You're invading our microphone. space. You're invading our security space. We don't look, look how big your land is. Who are you? I'm Actually, just, what, is, what is your name? Uh, my name is the Sunburn Man. Oh, the Sunburn Man. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. I'm just. Gonna in, on, what are we going to be on TikTok, YouTube? Where do you, where do you live? Where do I, you live? I live, you live locally. Do I live you? in the bin. You live in I can't afford nowhere to live. Oh. So I'm filming. Well, you've had a show I'm this morning. No, but nice I didn't want that show. On. No, you've had a shower. She got a shower, shower. you've got nice clean clothes. I haven't on. got anything up. It's nice. It's me. Uh, Have you got any ID on you? Well, well I've unless, no idea. unless I've done a crime, you can, you can ask, but I haven't done anything wrong, have I? Well, so what are we gonna it's part of your policy, isn't it? Property. But it's part and of your you've not left when we've asked you to. Oh, well, I'm off the property. Yeah, you are now, yeah. So what are we going to be? Are we going to be TikTok stars, Facebook, YouTube? You, I don't know about... Can you tell me so I can let all my fans yeah, know? Yeah, no, I want to... Inspector, I'm very disappointed in you because you actually seem all right, yeah, but... but so he, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay the bill. If this inspector wants to know where she's going to be a star, then we're going to have to give her a call and let her know that she's a star on Gypsy Auditor UK and Accountability for All. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, PayPal candidates watching. Really appreciate that. But you are a star, ma'am. So I'm going to pay the bill to call you and let you know exactly where you can watch yourself live. And stay tuned, folks, because I wanted to put the lighthearted one. This assault is a lot less worse than the other one, where not only is he assaulted, but the cop has no problems with explaining that he will physically assault. So let's continue to watch. Hands on me. I've never had that. Unless, no unless I've done a crime, you could, you could ask, but I haven't done anything wrong, have I? Well, so what are we it's part of your policy, isn't it? Property, it's part of your property. And you've not left when we've asked you to. Oh, well, I'm off the property. Look. You are now, yeah. So what are we going to be? Are we going to be TikTok stars, Facebook, YouTube? You, I don't know about... You tell me so I can let all my fans yeah, know. Yeah, no, I want to... Inspector, I'm very disappointed in you because you actually seem all right, yeah? But putting hands on me, I've never had that before. Oh, I've filmed 150 just... police stations, yeah? And... I but know this is heavy. Is this the usual thing for you? Then? Yes, it this is. is. What you do? Yes, yes. What do you get out of it then? I get paid, yeah. You get paid? Yeah. For my bin. Your bin? 
my food that I put in the bin, yeah. Okay. And in pays you? People that watch this rubbish. Yeah, but it's not rubbish because I'm not actually aggressive. Maybe you thought in a sense I was, yeah, but I'm not. We don't know who you are. Yeah, but I don't know who you are. Who you, are. you did identify, identify and so did the inspector. You were asked to leave and you didn't. If you asked you, to leave once... I don't once, know who you are. You haven't identified yourself. But I haven't got to. You have code of ethics and policies. If you're asked to leave once, you leave. Simple. You From the landowner, leave. yes. He's, to do that. he's not a police officer. He doesn't he's a member of staff. He's got to look after his own safety. What? Uh, he's safety? got no idea who you're going to get run over. If I do, I have to... Yeah, yeah, from wait, a DPD. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's hold on to this part here. This is... So, so now we, we've, we've just made the stretch, folks. Uh, we have just made the stretch from all the way from uh, officer safety to uh, to now just any staff safety. Um, so two things I want to point out. We're, we're way past officer safety. So uh, this guy, this other guy with his special little name tag is just a member of staff. Now we have to respect his staff safety. And also she just tells him, you need to give us your ID or you're going to get run over. So somehow now by Gypsy Auditor presenting his ID, it will keep him uh, from being safe, uh, from getting run over, from entering a public space. Like, it doesn't matter which country you're in. These cops are, are absolute morons. Now, Gypsy, during this whole interaction, like what's going through your head? I, I was actually fearful, to be honest with you. Um, I, I could imagine, buddy. I mean, these yeah. guys, they, all they wanted, and they're making it up as they go along. And what's scary is this is the police federation headquarters for the yeah. entirety of England and Wales. So this is the top echelon of who runs policing in in the UK. And even at that level, they have no idea what they're doing. No. And you got to understand there was a lot of them there, like away from the camera as well. They tried to intimidate me, but I stood strong. Um and I always wanted to do this place, but I knew it would end that way. But it's public land. Like, I walked, if the barrier was sh at the end of, well, I don't want to give it away, but it plays into what I wanted, really. Because at the end of the video, I achieved what I wanted to achieve. And uh, a lot happens in a short period of time, really. And when I pulled up there, they weren't friendly either. Because all them houses near... That's all police. So it was a it was a crazy one. I am gonna call this place. Uh intern right. Joel, as you see you backstage, I'll bring you up after we clear the videos. Um and I just I'm I'm gonna call them and I wanna ask them I can't uh, wait. a bunch of questions. So I'm gonna pay a hefty uh, international bill. Let's continue to watch. Then obviously I'd have to report it to you guys. It's an absolute disgrace, guys. But guys, on a serious level, yeah, Inspector and PC, right? Thank you for identifying, but Inspector, I can't believe what you did. That's fine. But it's, it's actually bad, though. because well, I've done that numerous times in my role. But that's abusing your powers. No, it's not. Because you could have asked without ask. forcing. You forced me off. Yeah? I didn't force you. I didn't push you at all. You, you had hands on your shoulders, man. Did I ever push you or use any pressure against you? Well, if I didn't no. move, you would have. I don't know who you are. So you I back me off I like I'm a right dog. To protect people who already asked you to leave. But this is a place. I don't know you from Adam, do I? Oh, of course, I don't know you from Adam. But you didn't even. I don't come to your bin. But this isn't your house. That's what you're going to say. It's your house. It's your place of work. Yeah. Safe place of safety. Yeah, safety. What? It's what? Place so safety. in 2022, when was the last time a police officer got attacked? Can you name it to me, please? Wait, hold, hold on a second. And this is something that's really important for you guys to notice and to understand that this female police officer just says that the police station is her place of safety. I apologize. I thought that police stations were public safety access points. That is where they serve the public. This is where their main concern is public safety and serving the community and serving the citizens, which she has now just said is this is her lair. This is her tyrant retreat. This is where all the police hide. If a police station is a place for police safety, then that means that cops are cowards that have to hang because they're afraid of the public. I mean, this is literally a copdemic, people. This is the worst infiltration of any 
any health related issues that we've had. This is an international issue. This is a cop demic. But but again, this is why cops are so brave and they're heroes. So make sure after you get assaulted by the police to thank them for being so brave. And in, in Surrey, we're at now beautiful yeah. area, low yeah. crime area, yeah. wealthy police premises. This is yeah. all police probably. When was the last time police officers got attacked around there? Every day. Every day. Okay, name me when. What do you mean, name you when? When was the last time a, a member of public died in police when custody? When the local police turn up, like you ask them because they work with them every day. Okay, I understand call. you guys got a hard job. I'm not in doo doo land, yeah? But I just want to know statistics. When was the last person. We call the local police, you know. That's fine. When was the last police officer to die from a member of public? Wait, wait. You guys gotta wait. So the guy that runs the police at the police headquarters has just called the local police. <laughs> so, so the police department is a place for police safety, and now they're calling the local police. I mean, what kind of cowards are we handing out these little laminated badges and lanyards to? And this is not even the worst of it. This is barely the least of it. Uh, thanks, Elite Laws. He says, uh, send, send this to the auditor across the pond. Great work. That's, uh, yep, we'll send that right over to uh, Gypsy Auditor UK. Really appreciate it. Uh, and everyone else, if you'd like to super chat, uh, PayPal, Cash App, support us. That, that, that's great. Um, but this is crazy. It's like when I see videos that are called Cops Call the Cops, like what happens? If, if, if the police are calling the police for officer safety, then what happens when the other officers get there? Like, how does that conversation go? Could I, might, I just wanted to let you know that I called you for all safety. And then the other officer says, right how, mate? Well, you're concerned for your safety. I'm concerned for my safety. So why don't we go inside the building that's designed to keep us safe and whatever happens, happens and they can run amok. What the hell is going on? My mind is exploding. Would you like to say, are you a police officer yourself? Can you identify yourself, please? as part of your code of ethics and your policy because you're trying to tell me things you're quoting yeah. things so tell me no but you didn't say that you said police are in danger or whatever so what's your badge number please officer yeah, and are you a pc okay so when was the last time a police officer passed away from a member of public uh probably um no no uh andrew Harper. okay what year was that 2020. Okay, two years ago. When was the last member of public to die in police custody? There's more people in police custody dying from police. No, can I finish, please? Hey, listen, that's that's no problem. That's per I'm just saying statistically, how many people die? No, because you're talking over me. Basically, more people die in custody from police than public killing police. That's a fact. It's a fact. Because if I would have continued arguing with that they're inspector... In a police building and they die. It's not at the hands of police. They're in a the police building and they die. They might have a heart attack. They might have underlying okay. health issues. Yeah, I get that. health issues. I get all it's of that. It's not great. And no police officer wants anyone to die in their... Of course. The worst thing... You got got all right, folks. Well, she wants to quote you about all... The, now, now, she's talking here about, uh, about officer safety and they have a building just because of it. Uh, I would like to kick it to the chat because I got up the statistics here. How many police officers do you or think uh, were killed in the line of duty in 2020 to 2021? We'll bring up intern Joel now. He can also hang out. Uh, and then we're going to be going through the next video. But folks, while you're here, they're saying that they have this entire building that is dedicated to officer safety. They must be safe. And we need to help keep them safe. So how many people, how many police officers do you think were killed in the line of duty last year? Uh, so let's uh, let's take a peek at what you guys are saying. 2.5, 18, 44, 47. Well, folks, the number is one. Uh, the, the, the number is one. Now let's add up all the police officers that were killed since 2010. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 police officers were killed in the last 13 years. Let's look up an interesting fact. 
How many people were killed by police in England last year? Let's look at these statistics. So not huge numbers compared to the U.S. because a lot of, um, you know, U.K. cops do not carry firearms. But we have 20 citizens that were killed at the hands of, of police. So I don't understand. Like, maybe that's why they fear for their safety so much, right? Because for every one cop that's killed by a citizen, they go out and kill 20. So for every one that they lose, they go take 20 of us. So that's fucking not... That's not police safety or officer safety. That's fucking karma. Let's continue to watch. Guys, actually want to help people. Yeah, I'm, I'm not anti-police. I'm not against well, you guys. Put a uniform on and go out and deal with people. Listen, it's a very hard job. Yeah, day. I'm called an. I won't get my. I will say I'm an. I'm an auditor. We do. No, I'm the bin man. Okay. But yeah. the, what, what? Bimbo. the bimbo man, bimbo, so come here, you want. What do you want? Why are you here? To have an engagement with an officer, okay. th which I've got. No, because he assaulted me. He hasn't assaulted you. He wasn't there. Okay. Was you there? You've you're not even a witness, so uh, the camera is an unbiased witness. This is the danger here. Officer, there. come on. No, that's the danger. No, you're in private property. This is absolute, this is absolute no, petty. So, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'll do it then, yeah? We'll let yeah. you lean on You've the wall. You've been asked to leave private No, I can't lean on the wall because that's part of your property. Now, but being serious on that level, right? Yep. How many people have died in police custody? Well, we're not talking about that, are we? Hundreds why, of people, I'd say. To, I've told you. I haven't got to keep explaining. Yeah, we've had that engagement. Yeah. But I, even, I wasn't talking to an inspector in the PC. You come over. It's like you're doing a three-on-one and you're waiting for the police to come. But you asked, please. You, did. you didn't leave. Yeah. We're entitled to remove you. No, not we. you done that. Okay, me. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. This lady got angry and was like, stick it up for you, yeah? Which is wrong because you witnessed that. I never witnessed anything. I know he's a higher rank and it's hard to speak out. I, I get this. I've Listen, seen... If I saw him put his hands in your yeah, He mouth, did. You was the right there. <laughs> you were stood it. right there. I never saw it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, I never saw it. I was looking the other way. If I hit him back, how many would have jumped on me? Oh, absolutely. You would have wrapped me up, broke me wrist. Yeah. Uh, well, I doubt if I broke your wrist. I'm, of course I'm you would. I'm not sure enough to say that. Hey, you guys are trained. You're, you're trained athletes in a sense. <laughs> You are. <laughs> so, okay, so the police in your police training school. We've well got quite a bit of service, so it's a bit of time since. I bet you guys have a quiet day as well. No, I mean, have you not had people filming here before? or? I don't know. Film in any public space you want. This is a public space. No, this is private land. You say it's a This so, road's private. So this road's private, yeah? Yes, go and read the sign at the bottom. Which well, this is private road residence. Are you a police only. officer? Yes, do you live here? No, uh, what uh, rank Why are, are you? you on Can you identify yourself, please? No. If you come near aggressive, point in your property. finger, I'm please at least identify. the road at the sign you walk It does have a fire. It is I don't care what it says. It. It's public That's access. Why there's a lock there. Section 30 for Rita Commune, just that 1972, gives me public access here. Good for you. It's not good for you, it's the law. Are you a police officer? I don't read the sign. I don't want to read the sign. I've walked down here already. That's this right, is public parking conditions. You didn't say this before, Inspector. Exercising my rights to film as a free man in a free country. But I haven't because I'm getting backed off. Like I should be able to come here, film, and walk away. You know it's not a police station. Yeah, but I should be able to film in a free country, wherever I want. You can film in any public space you want. This is a public space. No, this is private land. You say it's a This road's private. So this road's private, yeah? Yes, go and read the sign at the bottom. Well, this is private road residence Are you a police officer? Yes, do you live here? No, uh, what uh, rank Why are, are you, you on private property? Can you identify yourself, please? No. If you come near aggressive, point in your property. finger, I'm not please at least down I don't... the road at the sign you walk. It does have a fire. It I don't care what it says. It's That's public access. A lock there. Section 30 for the Commune, just that 1972 gives me public access here. Good for you. It's not good for you. Don't it's you the go. law. Don't you go. Are you a police officer? I don't want down with it. I don't want to read the sign. I've walked down here already. That's this right, is public parking conditions. You didn't say this before, Inspector. I wasn't talking about the road. I was talking about here. So what? Are you a Can you identify yourself, please? No. You That's absolute disgrace. So I will sue you then. Well, I'll see you in court then. Good for you. Well, why are you so angry? Yeah, angry. calm down. You're walking onto property. You I'm not even on the property. You were. Were you on that property? Until the inspector asked me to leave, and I did. No, so you, you were asked to leave by another property, member of staff. People's property. People's property. This is the pub public fund this. No, it's not. Who funds it then? Sorry? The who members funds? of the Police Federation. Well, so you guys fund your own thing, yeah? Correct. So yes. the who pays for you guys? Sorry? Did the public pay for police? Sorry, do you have a job? Yes, of course I do. So do you when, have a job? So, so when people pay Don't you... Don't point your finger I, at me. No, no. When you people pay you, 
It's ironic you're pointing at me, saying. I'm not pointing. I've got a camera at you. You've got a camera thing on the hand, haven't you? Well, you you're aggressive so, yourself. I'm so matching you your behaviour. When you get paid, Sorry, is it sir. your money or is it public money? Yeah, I understand. But well, do we go. all work for the public or not? When I earn money, it's my money. It's not public. Are you anti-public? No. Filming. Not. Filming. I am when they go onto property they don't own. They but don't you don't own right it. Did you, do you own this property? Did you put that speed bump in? Any public place. You're not in a public place. Of course I am. Uh, it's, it's not gated. Road. It's got access. It's a private road with a I just want to reiterate to everyone watching, he is 100% in a public place. This is the Police Federation headquarters for all of England and Wales. He literally had to walk through this parking lot to go into the publicly accessible lobby inside this building. So it makes absolutely zero sense for these, this guy's ignorance of the law has no bearing on public opinion and his cop explaining makes no friggin' sense, right? You don't go from a public space through a private area to get into a publicly accessible lobby. Nothing he's saying makes sense. And if this kid didn't have a camera, it would be a lot more of, of assault and battery on this guy. And this is how stupid that police are nationwide. This is a nationwide, this is a, a worldwide issue. This is a cop demic because they don't even care. We know cameras don't lie, cops do. And even when they're on camera, they think that their qualified immunity extends beyond the public's ability to watch that they're fucking morons. Like literally they know they're on camera assaulting this guy and they turn to their partner and say, well, I didn't assault him, did I, mate? And she says, no, you didn't assault him. And all of a sudden the assault doesn't take place. Right, you we don't live by signs, we live by law. Yeah, and this is a private property. That's not law. Officer, can you identify yourself, please? And because you're coming here pointing your finger, giving me directions, can you please identify? This, miss, you've identified. This is an absolute walk of shame. Because they will get sued. No, because they're feeling unsafe because you're here. I'm unsafe. You guys are surrounding me. We don't know. You'd be a terrorist. Oh, now he's a terrorist, guys. He's a terrorist. See you later, miss. I understand. Well, it'd be the wrong building to do it to because you guys are dangerous. And I would never, ever, intentionally ever hurt anybody in my life. So I, you can't live by fear. You have to live by facts and, and, and the law. Right? So are we all police officers here? So we have seven people here and I'm on my own. I'm one man. If you fix the gate I could, and I enter then, you arrest me all day long. It doesn't matter whether the gate you're not works arresting. or not. Civil that, private you were asked to leave our private premises. But you're not, you, you are didn't. not the landowner. You were asked twice before me. Yes, I am the landowner. I was asked from a member of public. Police officers, time. this officer hasn't even identified. You're going to be sued, officer. I what's am, your badge number, please? I'm responsible for this area. Okay, what's your badge number, please? You leave now? Can you stop failing your code of ethics and uh, identify, please? There we go. You've done your job. That's perfect. But can you identify, please? We're going to have to send this to America, then it's going to go viral, guys. Brilliant. Absolute disgrace. But this is a good thing, doing the gate. America well, has received it. Doing directives if he, he don't want to identify. Miss, you've identified it's not you. I am. So the... All right, guys, that's not it. We're going to be going into the uh, next video. Now, Gypsy Auditor U UK, you're with us. Um, so this is a public building, am I right? This is not private property. It, um, the thing is, do you know within this country we have inspectors, right? Right. He can ban me from entering the premises. They have powers here. So People? when I... Yeah, inspectors are slightly different here in England. So he can ban you yeah, under your property. law from going on public property. If, like... They play the all sorts of angles, committed, right? There oh, for sure. But then they can say uh, it's harassment or it's a public order offence, even though there's no members of public because the police can't be offended. And the inspector has powers in England, but they can ban you. Um, obviously, this this had public access, but this was right. in the police station. This was actually like um, we call it here headquarters. Um, I actually didn't know the full history of this place. Now, I know if there's an open gate, I'm going to walk in. And that's all I tested. And and they closed it eventually anyway. So... There still has to be the, the basic um, 
like disorderly offense. There has to be a public offensive. Like, so still he has to prove that, that you're committing exactly. a crime to ask you to leave. But the only crime that happened was With that them. he was assaulting <laughs> you. Now this is not an isolated incident. Everyone please smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to gypsy auditor UK. His link is in the chats. Uh, and please, if you want to help out with our uh, super chats, PayPal's whatever, keep us in the road. That's great. We're going to go into the next video. So in that one, we have an assault, oh, a, a trespass from public pra- public place, and an ID refusal. This next one is even worse. So <laughs> let me pull this one up for you. This one's just as bad. Guys, look where we're back. The long, dreaded Spring Hill revisit. And uh, you can probably hear... Uh, Exposed and educate in the back. Do subscribe to him, guys. I will put his channel link in the description. As we can see, public footpath signed here. Mobile phones don't look like that anymore, mate. And as we can see, straight in, and obviously. We're sticking to the to the public footpath, and I remember last time I come here, guys, I got to there and I couldn't get any further. So um, sorry about the noise, guys. So generally, guys, you don't really make it past this point because it's a little bit chilly. Um, I'm actually further than I was last time already. If you guys remember, I got kind of stood off from there. So, is this Grendon, brother? Yeah, so that's definitely Spring Hill. Yeah, that's just a big hill because I had the man I filmed the, the decap prison on that grass there on that tree. Yeah, what it was, your, your viewers may be interested in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of research. This used to be an army camp. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. And just up here somewhere, there's a building that used to be a listening station. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And in there, there's a plaque, apparently, too. What, down here? To the, to the people that I were in the war. Yeah, I wouldn't go on that. Gr- the foot. we got a footpath here, haven't we? Yeah. Here is a bit iffy. It is. But obviously, here where I am. Oh, there you go. Explain to here, look. Everyone in here real quickly, if everyone could please hit the thumbs up button that's in here, that really helps with the analytics. There we go. Obviously, it's a decat, so it's open, isn't it? Yeah. As we can yeah, see, so guys. This would this, this be normal boys, though, decat boys. This is boys in the jail, look. Yeah, I don't film them as a rule. I won't film so here we go, guys. On, look. Yeah. So I'm complying, aren't I? Where's his face mask? So. <laughs> Not these boys. These, we know what these boys. Where's Where's the old Bill at? Uh-huh. I didn't come this far. Last time I come here, I couldn't even get to this point. We won't get you, boys. Don't worry. We're only looking for the old Bill. <laughs> Order in. Order in. YouTube. Yeah, we won't get you, boys. We've been in there ourselves. We won't get you. But. If you can, boys, just tell them. Say, there's a couple of idiots filming. Get him here. Is this Spring Hill, boys? Here. Where's Brendan? Down there. Here we go. Yeah. Here's Rolf Harris. Look. Tell me you don't look like Rolf Harris. They used to be linked to Oh, okay. I've only seen one sign. Is that policy or law? Yeah, I don't follow signs, mate. Yeah. Right where we are. Section 33, come on, just say 972, we can do it, yeah. Yeah, as we can see, guys, just suppose an educator just trapped to officer there. I'm going to show you here. So we have Brendan up there. 
Sprung Hill Gate Lodge here. Yeah, so the e RMU, this would be the uh, custody managers and stuff like that. Yeah, we're on the grounds, guys. We've made it. We're panicking over here. And we're guys, that's an interesting question um, by David Hawes. Yes, uh, England does have a constitution that is, is practically a, a mirror and identical to ours. Uh, the United States had the first constitution and then uh, Great Britain quickly adapted and adopted their own. Um, their, their place of government is practically identical too. Instead of like senates and representatives, they have a house of commons and, and so on and so forth. But it is practically identical to ours, just different names of laws with different codes. And of course there's some differences, but it's practically identical. We wait and see what happens. How's the jail on it, boys? Are you good? Better than Bullen, then. <laughs> anyway, okay. I'm perfectly fine. How are you? Not too bad. You're more than welcome to film. I know where there. the public boundary is. It's fine. Public boundary is not here. That's your opinion. Do you follow law or policy? This is prison property. Policy you're following. You have to call the police. Public down there. We, we will, but that's fine. No problem. I'll just point it out Can you identify you. yourself, please? Sorry? Are you a CM, SO? No, there you go. I'm an officer. PO, personal officer? Or? No, no, prison officer. Yeah, PO, personal officer. Yeah. yeah, prison officer. So, yeah, more than welcome down there. I, I don't take advice. I follow law. Thank you. No, that's fine. I'll just... the camera off now. No, thank you. We will, let's go. We will, we will manhandle you and take you off the ground. Okay. Uh, Wait, so they, they, they will manhandle you. Um, and, and to be clear, because some people are sending me messages, you can be um, arrested for free speech, but there still is the pretext. Like, for example, cops can actually be victims versus like in America with disorderly conduct. Uh, a cop can't be. But there still has to be the pretext of some sort of, of crime, a, disord a disorderly person. Or a disturbance. They can't simply come up to you in public and arrest you because you're exercising free speech. There still has to be the basic right of annoying or, or a certain level of accosting. But I want to run this back for a second. So he comes up and says, stop filming or I'm going to manhandle you. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. It's a copdemic. Let's, let's rewind just a second and watch this. Take advice, I'll follow law. Thank you. No, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll... No, thank you. We will escort, we will, we will manhandle you and take you, you off the ground. Me. Okay. Uh, get your hands on people. One, no, 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 don't touch me, Sonny. Jim. Are you looking to get sued? Walk away, oh. otherwise, we'll guide you away. All right, get your hands Walk off. Away. Keep walking, keep walking. I'm entitled to you to do this. Hey, don't shove me because I get Walk you back. away, walk away. Okay, keep doing it. I'll do what, get your hands Walk off me. You thin line. Keep walking away, don't touch me. Keep... I want to give you an example of something that gives me joy, folks at home. What gives me joy is to go out with my friends, uh, to spend time with my family, uh, to engage in activism, to enjoy a nice dinner. There's so many things that give me joy. Physically battering other people is not something that gives me joy. But look at this piece of shit. Look at the smile on his face. This is what gives him joy. And here's what's really just eye-opening to me, is that this guy is in charge of other people that are imprisoned, right? He's willing to smile and beat you when he knows he's on camera. What happens to the poor people that are inside that facility? Absolutely disgusting. 100%. Keep walking away. A simple you claim. fence at the moment. I'm entitled right. to do this. Don't touch me. Walk away. I'll, I'll do what I want. Don't Keep walking away. You're not on. You're don't not force on, me. Not I'll walk. Here. Okay, I am. But you're get not the police. Public area. Get the police. You go. Right. You're out of breath. Get walk your hands down. Away. As we Come can on. see, guys. Keep going. Right. Don't touch me. Keep going. That's your last warning. Keep going. Don't touch me. Keep walking away. I can walk on my own. Don't touch well, me. Well, turn around and walk away then. No. Get back. Turn around and walk away. Yeah. Okay. We're entitled to use a minimum force from your memo. You from these grounds. From your memo, yeah. You should so know this walk is. Walk away. Get your Don't hands walk off away. me. Yeah, 
Look, you're out of breath. Get, get your hand off me. You're all on camera. Go on, walk away, gentlemen. Please. We're just going. Just no, you're out of breath. We're not. You seem to be getting a bit hands on. It's all on camera anyway. Yeah, get, yeah, exposed. Get this, yeah, exposed. Get this angle, yeah? 50,000 people got to see this. Fantastic. Um, well, you are a doctor. Don't sir. touch me again. Keep walking. Last warning. You don't warn me, fella. I do. I'm 70. I'll box. So, go on. Well, you take your best shot, though. I wouldn't walk take a shot. You're touching me. Walk away. Are you filming? Keep walking. Oh, Until I, you're in the public area. But don't touch me again. Until you're in the public I'm area. I'm in a public area will, now. I will leave you in peace. Get the police then. Okay. Public area is just down there. No, look. You, this is where you're going wrong. It's just down there. This is where you're going wrong. Okay. Okay. Go on camera. You can get sued, Sir, brother. you can stand there to your heart's content. What, this? Don't come on these grounds any, any further. Right, these me... are prison grounds. There. These are prison that grounds. is the prison grounds that football. You is. went onto prison grounds. Yeah, it's until you were sport really. me. That's okay. fine. So but you, you shouldn't have put hands on. So you're committing an offence. Can you identify yourself? I'm doing so. I don't intend to identify You assaulted me, so okay? you're going to get sued. And I put my hands out. You sue me all you like. You touched okay? me four times. I'm okay? wanted. And if you come on here again, I will touch you again. This okay. is absolutely disgrace. Anyway, we've got nothing further to say to you. What um, got are you? CM and okay? OM, what are you? Just stay off the ground. Can you identify yourself, please? Stay off the ground. You're out of breath. You need to get in better shape. Um, if you come on here again, we'll move you back off again. Okay. You will move you, me. Yes, I will. Because they didn't touch me. Again. It was you. Yes, it was. So are you a gym officer? I will move you off again. Just if identify yourself. We know where we're at. I'm not interested in talking to you again. Well, I'm yeah. interested because you're assaulting. So okay, what are you? An OM, a CM? Guys, like, it's not your fault. What is it? Like... He's one, he's one of the CMs. Okay, he's I can tell he's the custody but, manager yeah, yeah. by how he went. I've been inside. I know the system. All right. You witnessed him assaulting me then. You were there. You could say I was on the private boundary, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is public land. When it's a HM prison service, it's a majesty's pleasure. Yeah. If it's run by Sodexo or Serco, it's private. What he's just done there is an assault. So will you tell my many viewers... I'm not. I'm not going to get involved. I in understand. Old, I'm not going to get involved in the old YouTube thing. So what are you? Free stripe? Are you? Uh... I want to point something out real quick, and he's referring to the sign the HMP, Her Majesty's Pleasure. Um, now I, I know that in Great Britain the people love their monarch, but this is why monarchs don't have any any actual constitutional powers. I think one of the last real absolute monarchies like you know where there's no political parties uh you have saudi arabia and swaziland in africa where the where the king or the queen at their pleasure can literally have you uh murdered if they so choose but the reason that monarchies just don't sustain especially in our time is because you never serve at her majesty's pleasure or his majesty's pleasure you serve at the people's pleasure Right. And that is why the times outgrew things such as monarchies. We'll continue to watch because he's doing a great job cornering this cop in to, to get him to turn on the other cop. And this cop says, well, I don't do YouTube. But do you do the truth? Do you speak the truth? Uh, so, yeah. You're so, a CM yeah. yourself. CM. So you're recorded yeah, as I'm well, recorded, which yeah. is fine. Within our rights, we can all record. Yeah, it. Yeah. In your opinion, what just happened? I know it's hard for you on camera. Was that wrong or right? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get involved in that. You've you've had your discussion with him, haven't you? All right. But what what matters yeah. is at the moment. So at least you're, you're down here at this. We're not gonna cause the news. Yeah, I can't have you up there. Recording. Okay, that's fine. But the thing is, officer, it, how polite you are. I understand if you're a gym officer. You sorry. Give me two seconds. So you haven't told me yet. But yeah. This, this officer, what happened there then? Because she was all right with me, and he got hands on. Well, I didn't see him actually. Did he? I don't know. He did I didn't touch see him touch well, I on camera. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get all of it. He didn't hurt me, but he yeah. still assaulted me. Um, did you not? No. Look at this, folks. Now, this guy might be being nice to Gypsy UK Auditor, but he's just as bad as the worst because he was walking with them, and he says, "Well, I didn't see him put his hands on you. I didn't see him physically assault you." You didn't. You didn't see him physically assault him. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I, I wonder if you know. There he is in the background. Now see him directly back, folks. Let me blow up the screen so you can see. This is a bad cop. You're going to see the guy on the right, and then you're going to see. I'll see if I can outline it for you. Right here. All right, in the background, one, two, third person over from the left. Okay, that's the cop who just said he didn't see anything. He did not see anything. Well, let's play the video again and see if he saw anything or if this was something that had happened so briefly he could have missed it.
area. But don't touch me again. Until you're in the public I'm area. I'm in a public area I will, now. I will leave you in peace. Get the police then. Okay, public area is just down there. No, look. You, this way you're going wrong. It's just down there. This way you're going wrong. Okay. Okay. Go on camera. You can get sued, Sir, brother. you can stand there to your heart's content. What, this? Don't come on these ground. On camera anyway. Yeah, get, don't touch me. Oh, walk. Public area here. Okay, I am, but you're get not the a police. Get the police. Off you go. No, you're out of breath. Get walk your hands down. Away. As we Come can on. see, guys. Keep going. Right, don't touch me. Keep going. That's your last warning. Keep going. Don't touch me. Keep walking away. I can walk on my own. Don't touch well, me. Well, turn around and walk away then. No. Get back. Turn around and walk away. Yeah. Okay. We're entitled to use minimum force from your memo from these grounds. From your memo, yeah. You should so know this walk is away. Nice. Get your Don't hands walk off away. me. Yeah, Look, you're, you're out of breath. Get, get your hands off me. You're all on camera. Don't walk away, gentlemen. We're just going. Just no, you're out of breath. We're not. You seem to be getting a bit hands on. It's all on camera anyway. Yeah, get minimum force. Yeah, expose. Right. Get this. Now, see, you can see this guy right on the right hand side of your screen. He's literally following and watching the whole time. So he's just as much of a bad cop as the cop that's going hands on because he's willing to lie and cover for him. Just look, you can you can see him. Yeah, exposed. Get he's right there. Yeah. He's right in the background. 50,000 people got to see this. Fantastic. Uh, well, you're he's still right there and you can see the other guy following him. He never leaves the camera shot. But at the end he says, "Eh, well, I didn't see anything." Of course you didn't, because you're a piece of shit. So, ladies and gentlemen, to watch the full videos of both of these, I'd like you guys all to go over to my friends, my friend uh, Gypsy Auditor UK. He's doing awesome. Looks like he's just about to break 7,000, and we can help him do that. His link is in the chat. I would like everyone to go subscribe to Gypsy Auditor UK. Um, because every single confrontation he has seems to be these type of confrontations. Every single video is literally the police going hands-on or just one of the most hilarious videos you've ever seen. That's why his stuff is so great. He's either having hilarious encounters or he's getting assaulted by cops. And I know some people in the U.S. don't like to watch U.K. because they don't feel it applies to the United States and their freedom. People in the U.K. don't always like to watch U.S., but this is a nationwide issue. Terrorism is nationwide, right? Any sort of terror is, is, a, is a worldwide issue. And that's what this is. This is a copdemic. And we need to support people from our side in the other side of the pond. That is the only way we make sure that we can band together. Because it doesn't matter which country you see, which activists you see, which police department you see, you always see the same things. Cowards in costumes trying to abuse you and oppress you through tyranny and restriction of your rights. But these cops want to be thanked for their service. They want to be glorified. Well, I don't glorify cowards. Cowards glorify themselves. Really, a police station is a police safety retreat? What the hell are you talking about? It's a police safety retreat. I mean, not for nothing. The red coats may have left. Like people make this argument that the red coats have left uh, America. They just changed the color of their coat. They went from red coats to blue coats, and then they just went right back home and started oppressing their own people. Very little has changed, and this is everything that's normally happening. Gypsy stuff. So I'd like everyone to make sure they go subscribe to uh, Gypsy Auditor UK. Give him some love. Hashtag Copdemic. Because that's yeah. what it is. Thank you for the love, brother, yeah? Absolutely, man. We absolutely love you. And I think that if we can get on the same page, I know we're going to try and get you down here to have you uh, come out with us. Ah, it'd be an but, honor. You know, you you guys are, are getting pretty hard, hit pretty hard over there. And, you know, they you, don't seem like me. <laughs> you seem to be doing, being one of the ones that are, are really putting in the hard work over the pond. I mean, I watch Auditing Australia. Um, mm -hmm. He's pretty cool. But when I look at interactions, like you literally are one of the most polite, right? You stand your ground. And once yeah. you stand your ground and you're like, I know how to box, I will fight you right now. This cop is like, okay, <laughs> never mind. Now I don't want to touch this guy. Because, yes. you know, there's half a dozen to one, six to the other that he might punch me, me bloody socks off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah, you Tyson so much. Fury, yeah. <laughs> but let me add something. Uh, so we were, you were saying something about people don't always want to watch UK. Well, let me add something to that so people are going to want to watch that. You see – 
what we know about is that going back to the Magna Carta, going back to uh, the ecclesiastical laws, all this stuff, there is that reason why our Constitution in England as well as the United States and all over the world and the international declarations and all that stuff is so similar and the laws too. So realize that there's a lot of similarities between the U.S. and England, and it's just plain awesome to be able to watch other variations of what's going on. So, You guys lead the way, though. Thanks for <laughs> yeah. but Man, I'm being really serious. Know. You guys lead the way. Like You've inspired a lot of U.K. auditors, and it's good that it's going everywhere now because this stuff happens every day. And if you didn't film it, you wouldn't know, would you? Guys, I don't know what's going on in chat. I would like to say real quick, and again, thank you so much, YouTube Turns, for the super chat. We appreciate all super chats. Um, mine is a free speech platform, so I don't care if people say that I suck and I'm the worst and I'm an asshole. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, the only thing I don't allow is hate speech, doxing of pers people's personal informations, uh, or threats. Um, anything else, you guys are free to say, whether you're pro-AFA, uh, for AFA, what, against AFA, I don't care. Enjoy your free speech. Um, but if there's doxing in the chats, like it yeah. looks like there was, then you you I will agree be, you. then you'll be removed. So you can't like threaten or dox someone and be like, well, I thought I had free speech. Um, <laughs> we we agree. Uh, you, we're very similar house here in the UK. What you've just said, doxing, I personally don't agree with. Bullying, I mean, I can take a lot, right? But don't be like attacking people's families do you know when they try and get you under your skin but the thing is yeah. with tro with trolls i have had from day one um and i enjoy them they're my friends because they're undercover fans and we just roll with them and that's how it goes with them you're always going to get them you did a great job man i just want to tell oh, you thank you i remember you said you had some fear but that was smooth and <laughs> all you guys Fear is good though. Fear, fear does put you like the adrenaline, and then you're ready. And I'm being serious, right? I went a bit crazy because I I was gonna punch the guy genuinely, but I thought because I've been prison and stuff, it's it's not gonna go good for me here in the UK. You can have uh, three sentences of the same crime, and you get a life sentence here. I know in the US it's slightly different, where you guys get much longer in in prison, but here in the UK we we are following the American model now. We are going to be there eventually, I believe, with the, um, the death penalty and stuff. I, I do believe the UK is going very right wing and we are going to um, be giving people a long, long time, 40, 50 years. I know America, you guys get hundreds of years, but it, it ain't going to be long before it comes here in the UK. I can see it coming. Well, we need to uh, make sure that we as a global community can can do something together because the, the U.S. is looking at the U.S. problems as U.S. problems when it's selective for them. But the U.S. also wants to be the world fucking police. So if it's something that goes the United States agenda, they will get involved and interfere with any single country. But if it's a, if it's an issue with police violence and stuff like that, then the U.S. has to take care of their, their own problems. This is not a, a jurisdictional or country <laughs> issue. This is a worldwide problem. Yeah. I mean, and that's the reason I wanted to feature a UK video today, because you're not seeing anything different than the US stuff. It's cops making up arbitrary laws that don't know what the laws are, that are literally just speaking from their ass. And in this case, yeah. they're speaking out their arse. Ego. <laughs> it's ego and it's and arrogance, that's right? That's all. <laughs> But I, I appreciate you guys saying I'm polite because my background, I come from a lot of violence, right? But I'm trying to prove that I can film, show the tyranny, and move on. And it's just simple for me. And um, unfortunately, these things happen, but I'm so glad I get it on camera because there's so much more to come. And I actually really enjoy doing this. And obviously, like the US, Sanquin, Accountability, all of you guys, like, you did start the auditing game. So. It's nice to see it pop. And a lot of UK auditors now, but there's a lot of infighting, a lot of arguments, and it'd be good if we could unite more. But as, as my name, I'm quite controversial from my heritage, so I knew I was going to get a bit of backlash. But we can, we can only keep pushing and try our best. And now this place is called the Police Federation Headquarters. Yeah. What is this place called here? Um, the, the, the second video or the first one? Uh, let's do the first one. Police Federation of England and Wales. Federation. This was in beautiful Surrey, very posh England. <laughs> Ooh, my Lord Surrey. 
<laughs> yes. Very I watch posh. too much tutors. I was um, very intimidating there because it's very it's private. Like all the whole road was private, right? But there's public access. So section thirty three comes into play. What's the name um, of the other one? Uh the, the prison you were at. I'm HMP, trying to find Google reviews. Yeah. HMP Spring Hill. It's an open prison here in the UK, basically where the prisoners cut the grass. So when I was walking up, you'd have seen all the grass. All the prisoners cut that. They're out of their cells all day long. Um, and it's a very, like, they can have their ladies come up and visit them. And we they can, can go and... You can't play how low can you go because I don't know if it's England, but they don't have the Google Maps regular review. So I cannot play how low can we go with them, which is what I was <laughs> wanting to do. No way. Um, yeah, we cannot play how low can we go with England, which is really a shame because it's my it's my favorite game. Work life shows the system is fucked up, it fails us everywhere. Well, that's the whole point. Like we are all a universal people. We are a global community and we're going through global strife as one. You know, I think too quickly if there's an attack one place where people say, Well, that's not where I'm from, so it doesn't affect me. You know, it's the same as if, you know, you don't exercise precaution in any aspect of your life because mm -hmm. you say it won't happen to me. And then when it happens to you, that's what forces your activism. You You're don't right. have to be an activist. Just be offensive with your defense. Just make yeah. sure you're prepared and you're engaged and you start watching videos. You know, I really not until recently had watched um, UK activism and I'm watching it and it really started hitting home that this is a problem that we are, are facing as a nation. And like, you know, people like to say, oh, well, we're the US and they're the UK. I mean, not for nothing. We all started as the UK. Like we were a British colony and there was no <laughs> one here until we came from the shores of, of, uh, of England. So, I mean, we all, st it doesn't matter what flag is flying when you look down to basic human rights it's and people you know isn't it you're yeah. right it's people we're fighting for our rights and if we don't exercise them they, they disappear won't they so yeah you, you guys yeah. are saving human lives in the end as an end result to this whole thing i mean this is literally that serious by putting the dent it up. is it is you're right it's a heavy thing and i'm in fear right especially in london our capital um i'm doing a lot more work in london and it's a very dangerous game for people dying in police custody i know accountability quoted numbers and they're correct. Here in the UK, a lot of deaths will happen in custody, in, in police custody, and they won't make the news. Same as in prisons. I've been in prisons myself. People do die through brutality. It does happen. And it's facts. Every yeah, and these year. cops are all worried about their safety. Well, for every one cop that dies, they're going and killing 20 citizens yep. through force of violence. I mean, like, you know, that that's that's... This is how that goes. You know what it's I mean? Gangs. Like that's, it's gangs. They're dangerous. In my yeah. first video, I said police are very dangerous people, and it's correct. I've had a lot of experience with them away from the camera. I try and show respect. It's not out of fear. I just know what they can do. And I know a lot of us know, like, that film. But I'm saying away from the camera, they can do a lot. They, they can, you know, they're doing it to the UK auditors. They're putting pressure on them so they stop filming because we are exposing a lot. And... And we're building bigger, but we need the U.S. support. With you guys, obviously, it makes our channels grow even quicker because you're so big in America. You've got over 300 million people, so <laughs> we've only got 70-odd million here, so we're trying our and best. every other person subscribed, I mean, here's the problem is that I, I believe that every American or every person believes in freedom. So why yeah. don't we have you know, everyone on our side. That makes sense because everyone has their own perception of what freedom is, right? You can believe that freedom is your rights as a free American or a free person. And the other person believe is believes that freedom is, you know, giving your rights away. Freedom is just doing whatever the police ask you to do. We all want freedom, but everyone has their own interpretation of what freedom is, which creates bootlickers and, and other yeah. things like that. So we just all have to understand that, Freedom means that we are free to be free from oppression. It yeah. doesn't matter. It doesn't change no matter where you go. The only things that change is, is the people that are wearing these types of costumes, giving you these types of, of unlawful orders. I it shouldn't matter. You know, people are now using freedom uh, and their interpretation of freedom to push their different political narratives or no, their personal right. narratives. This isn't political. This isn't personality. This is people. 
Okay, yeah. we are a, a worldwide global nation of people that deserve to be respected. And I think that it's crazy that some people would sacrifice your freedom to push their personal narrative or their agenda. But the thing is, right, let's I'm not gonna be like I know I hear people say our oh, gypsy he always says about the US, but if it wasn't for you guys, this wouldn't have started this movement. And now this movement's global, right? And if we unite more australia america england all, all over canada we can really change things here like if we unite enough we can we can really have a, a big message i know we're doing great stuff now but if we like if we can unite more the more people the more eyes the more average people to watch their tvs and whatever and like they, they, they can change their ways because it's like um it's a control thing people are controlled to be in a certain way we are the independent free media. We are the real people. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. why I started the stuff because I, I get people writing to me every single day. You know, people like this stuff. I love it. Ken Dalton, what's up, man? Ken, been I, one of my longest standing uh, moderators. So I got to start closing this down because uh, I want. I always like to keep these lives to an hour, and we're about twelve minutes over. So I would like to thank, firstly. Uh, Gypsy Auditor UK Thank for, for, for coming up brother. here. We're doing a great job. If everyone hasn't subscribed to him, please subscribe. We have intern Joel here, who is uh he's our he's our intern, he's our friend, he's great. I would also like to thank uh, the members, Work Lion, YouTube Turns, uh, Delete Laws, D Johns, Jeffrey Reinhardt. I'm going through here looking at all the members. Uh, if I missed you, go ahead and shout out in chat. Uh, Banana Rana. I'm sure there's other ones that I missed and I apologize. Thank you for all the super chats as well. Really appreciate it. I know that we have one from delete laws that is going to uh gypsy auditor. So uh, we'll make sure you that your way. And uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys make sure you get involved in your community. And when you see any activism channel, remember that, you know, we are, a nation uh, intern Joe, I'll put you in, I'll put you in touch with uh gypsy. We are a national people uh, in a, in a worldwide audience. This is a global issue. Now notice how, when we were fighting, Oh, it's SC swamp Fox. Thanks so much for joining the club and the family. And if you are a member, email me, my emails on my about page. And we'll make sure we let you know how to join our members only chat. Um, but when we fought this, this public, universal health crisis we were going through. This wasn't a US thing. This wasn't a Sweden thing. This wasn't a UK thing. This was a worldwide thing for a pandemic. So why not a worldwide solution for a copdemic? And the only right. way to fix these problems is if you guys get involved. So we really appreciate it. Everyone make sure that if you see any issues in your government, you have the right to redress your grievances. You have the right to stand up against tyranny. And when in the face of tyranny, you have the right to say, shut it the fuck down until next time. That's the reason I stopped.